Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to get rid of the extra space in a line chart in Excel. So a lot of times in Excel you might have a chart that has all this extra space, it's got all the extra grid lines, that there's no data flowing through, and so it just, it just seems kind of like a wasted space there. What we're going to do is very, very simple and easy to, to be able to kind of scale that or to focus on the, the areas that we want to focus on. We can do that. We've got some gaps on both of these, so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to click on that chart and it brings up the format chart area a lot of different things you can do to, to alter the chart but what we're going to want to do is click on our axis over here our data our prices on on the uh, the vertical side there and so what we're going to do is when we click on it you'll see that there are uh, access options that pop up which won't be there unless you click on that so once we click on that that box uh, the access options will pop up we want to click on that and then we're going to want to go to access options and so what we'll do is alter the bounds of the the line graph here so currently we will see that the minimum bound is zero so that's why it's showing data as zero and our maximum is 2000 but as you can see we don't have any data until it comes into uh, it shows about 1400 to 1800 so we have very limited data in a very small space so what we can do to alter that and get rid of the excess space is we're going to make our minimum bound be 1300 we'll hit enter and then it will start the bottom bound or the minimum bound I should say will be 1300 so you'll be able to get a much closer look at that data and some of the fluctuations that are taking place so it's allowing you to really zoom in on the area that you want to you know if we want to reduce our maximum as well again it's showing 1900 we can go to 1800 and it's just going to zoom in even more um, so very easy to do, very simple. We'll, we'll try it with this one as well. So again, we're going to have to click on that the home purchase price box and then the uh, access options will pop up. We're going to click on that and then we're going to go to access options. And you can see the bottom, our home price, uh, the kind of the floor is 400,000, but we want to set it to 420,000 here. So we'll go ahead and enter that and then hit enter. And it's going to zoom right in, so it, it kind of alters it, get, gets rid of the extra grid lines there, and get gets rid of that extra space. So, again, something that's very, very easy to do, very easy to manipulate and, and make it so that your line graphs are more readable and more presentable. So, I hope this answers your question. Please let me know if you have any additional questions. I'd love to answer them. And please remember to subscribe to the Excel Guy. Thanks and have a great day.